what's popping t subs and t squad um yeah basketball wise this is season 11 episode 15 um secrets lies and private investigators but y'all see what i named the title um so brooke meeting up with ev down her house brooke not uh, not brooke ev has a photo shoot coming up and she inviting brooke um daddy long legs giraffe neck having ass jennifer and jay seal as models um and then ev tells brooke about the ponderosas um I mean, yeah, that's really all it was. I mean, it really wasn't much to that. This is another season where because Evelyn ain't got a motherfucking thing going on, Brooke ain't got a motherfucking thing going on, that they're just going to go on ahead and use Jackie as a storyline. That's that's what I see. My opinion. But that's what I see here. I, I, I see the two of them in particular, they ain't got shit going on. So why not just use Jackie as usual? Brandy's mom, Terry, is in town and she takes her to a drink mixer course, class, whichever. Um, she tells her about the Ponderostas and Terry reminds her of why she's here and don't let the negativity um, pour her out of what she's here for. And I agree with Mama Terry. I agree with Mama Terry. That's exactly why Brandy, I felt my feelings about that last week when I told you you shouldn't have even gotten involved in that foolishness in the first place, especially trying to call yourself, aligning yourself with, with the likes of Evelyn, because we see where that's going to lead you later on down in the episode. Um, Jackie meets with Jay Seal to apologize. J Jackie opens up about her past. Jackie gets Jay Seal to help her get back in good graces with the group. I don't know, Jay Seal. I really feel like Jack Attack will wind up blaming you for this stunt that Eveline that set up here in pool. I, I just, I, I got a, a, a I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard any tea from the season at all, but I just got a nagging, hankering suspicion that, yeah, she finna be on your ass like right on rice because you went back and told that piece of information, which then caused Eveline to do that BS. Just saying, J. Seal. Just saying, J. Seal. <clears throat> but Jackie, did you say that this white lady, um, washed your hair in a miracle whip because you was a nigga and she didn't know what to do with your with your <laughs> with your nigga hair that's nappy as a sheep's ass and she thought that the best thing to put in it was <laughs> with some damn duke's mayonnaise i ain't never heard of nothing like that y'all women get down in the comments y'all older season women please get down in the comments and tell me is that true is is it put does putting in mayonnaise help y'all nigga hair not be so damn niggerish? Let me know because I I'm 36 and I was raised by old school and I heard a lot of stuff. That's the first I heard of that. <laughs> That's the I wish Joy Sand would say I would love to hear her take on that. Please let me know. Brooke goes on a date with Fred, some retire. I think he said NBA play. It was either NBA or NFL. Um, player, and she's known him for over 10 years. She won't end that damn man. But, Brand and I Brandy, Brooke needed a scene. But listen, Brooke, at least you got a 9K Chanel travel bag up at the deal. So, I mean, you know, hey. Jen calling her wedding planners from Paris. Um, Ev's photo shoot with Brooke, Jen, and Jay Seal. So <laughs> I'd be killing y'all with the wave off because that's really all I got. So Brooke tells them about her date with Fred, and it ain't go nowhere because she ain't like that damn man like that. She just liked him as a friend and nothing more. She just needed a scene. And the only thing she got up out of that that was worth something was that 9K travel Chanel bag. Jay Seal tells them about her meeting with Jack Attack and how she wants to have a conversation with the other ladies one-on-one -on -one, um, and all that good stuff. Oh, before we get to that, backing up. I already said how Jack Attack met with Jay Seal and all that, but this is what I am going to say though, Jackie. 
I'm not really mad at the ladies for calling Cap, Cap on that. I'm not, Jackie, because, Jackie, you are a one-trick pony because this is something that you always do. The whole group get mad with you. You pick somebody out the group that you feel as though you can manip you dip, and, and it usually works, to help you try to get back in the good graces of the ladies. I mean, Jackie, you've been doing this shit since Basketball Wives LA Season 1, so I'm not really that upset. For them calling cap on it, I'm really not because you that that you you that that's classic Jack Attack Christie 101. It is. So I ain't all the way upset with them for calling cap on that because I felt the same damn way. And J. Seal, I'm telling you, I wouldn't have even. I get it. I get it because you know you want to be in in, in good with Jackie with all of the ladies because you know you knew. I get that. You ain't got no problems with nobody. I get that. But I just would have set this one out. And I, I would have told Jack Attack, yeah, me and you cool, but I'm not getting involved in that. You did that. You made that mess. You caused all of this. You get right with these ladies. You just get right with me. I'm focused on you and not nobody else. That's how I feel, J. Seal. But do what you want. Ev starts to investigate Jack Attack since her talk with J. Seal. See, J. Seal, that's what I meant. That's what I meant, J. Seal. We're going to get on that down to the end. So Brooke's son, I think she said his name was SJ. No, the oldest son, SJ, is in town for a few days. And then she talks about how her youngest son, Sean, is running around here telling people that he got some girl pregnant. I'm assuming she already has the baby because I think they said it's a little girl. Um, but she turns around and says that the nigga lie a lot. So, you know, we don't know what's the truth, what's a lie or whatever, but it looks like in the next episode, she finna use Ev and Ev trying to be a private investigator to get down to the bottom of whether or not she really has a granddaughter idea. Moving on. Um, Ev meets with the private investigator because, um, Oh, yeah, I already talked about it. I just said that. Oops, I brought that up in the other thing. But yeah, Ez meets with a private investigator because she claims that she wants to be one now. And she got to put in some type of uh, like 4,000 hours or 6,000 hours or something like that. And um, she's using her trying to dig up dirt on Jack Attack as the hours, well, some to start the hours that she needs to now be a private investigator. We gonna get down to that at the end. Jen goes to the bridal shop with Jay Seal, and she says she wants five dresses, five dresses that you got to pay for while you still living in an apartment down to it. But then again, you don't even live in LA, do you? Because from what I heard, I thought the people said that you really do live in Atlanta, or do you now live in LA since um last Christian there? I don't know, but to be honest with you, daddy long leg, I don't give a damn. I, I really don't. Five dresses for what? You was already married once, girl. Usually when people was already married once, they don't do all that for their second wedding. And here you want to do it all up, spending all of your hard-earned money for the wedding, the travel expenses, the food, um, the decorations. And every damn thing else, plus five dresses, but that's your pockets. Do what you want, dead long lead. Jackie meets with Brandy for lunch to see where they stand. Brandy feels like in order to in order for her to move on with the rest of the group, she has to take ability and apologize to the rest of the ladies. Now, do Jackie have some accountability to own up to some? But she don't owe Evelina motherfucking thing. She don't owe pork and bean face ass. Vershandia, a motherfucking thing. Now, as far as it comes to Brooke, yeah, I do feel like you do owe Brooke an apology. But then again, I don't think your apologies will mean much of anything since you got up here on an interview and said that, you know, you only apologize because people make you do. So it's just like, at this point, all of your apologies would, I, I, I would sign on you, honestly. And I know we ain't supposed to be here for Brooke. But I'm just going to be honest about the situation. If I was Brooke, I would tell you to go. Well, I ain't going to tell you what to go do, all things considered. But y'all know where I'm going with it. Jump off a cliff. That's what I tell you. Jump off a damn cliff. That's just myself person. But I don't like Brooke. So whatever. 
Um, Ev meeting with Eric to compare notes. He tells her that Jackie has been going by like 15 different aliases and that she was arrested for prostitution in 87. Listen, here's the here's the real gag about this though, Ev. Girl, you've been prostituting your pussy from the free throw line since you ha started having periods. So my thing is, how can you really sit here and try to use this to go up against Jackie? As if your pussy ain't got more mouths on it than the spirit of St. Louis. Girl, if you don't go and sit your ass down so it like, this is when things go too far. Honestly, I don't see what y'all went through and how you're doing this and how it compares. I really don't. And then I see later on when y'all bring this to Jack Attack's um, attention, then we're going to see pork and bean face ass Rashandia sitting there with that dumb ass grin on her damn face. And then when she gets all of the backlash, then she's going to want to turn around and try to act all humble and act all first lady-ish. And, and that's another thing. Why is you sitting down indulging in that shit, Shani? My thing is you are being a first lady. Why would you tell Evelyn, Evelyn, you have to find, you have to find something else. Because you doing this is going to make the show look bad and make me look bad. And I am a first lady now. And I can't go through that. I can't have that hanging over my head. But like I said, all you hoes is trash. So it is what it is. Like, look, I'm not down with it. Because Jack Attack ain't never dug so deep, 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 deep down in none of y'all personal ish like that to where y'all should feel like it's okay and y'all got the right to dig in her shit. I mean, you really don't. You really don't. But Ev, you are not the right messenger for that. You are not the right messenger for that, child, because your coochie is worn the hell out. I told people this morning that it, 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 it compared to a blown out tire left out on the I-10 by 10. So I don't, I still don't see what you think you're going to get up out of this, Ev, but uh, whatever. That's it. That's all. I ain't got no more. I ain't stretching this shit out no more, girl, because it won't much to it. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. Let me know how y'all feel about Evelyn going out there and Seek it, sicken in a private investigator on Jack Attack. And let me know how y'all feel about Jack Attack having 15 aliases and how she was selling her coochie down down to 87 and um got caught and got hit with a damn misdemeanor charge. Dear Lord God Almighty. Then you're gonna send your confessional talking about something. Her name is Jackie Marie Jones or Hill or something like that. It ain't Christy, you dumb fuck. How it ain't. Her name is Jackie Christie. She's married to Doug Crispy. Like, what are you? I'm going to need for all of these nine wives to get the hell out of Dodge. I, I really am. I'm going to need for all. If you're not a wife or a fiance, I don't feel as though you need to be up on this on this TV screen at all. So that means you can get rid of Brooke, Ev. <coughs> Who else? Um. Well. If that's the case, I guess you can keep Jen because she's finna get married to the scammer. Um, you can keep Jay Seal because she's finna get married to Natasha. Um, Jackie been married since season one. Brandy's still married to um Jason. Why I don't know, but she is, so she could stay. Like I, I'm gone. Bye. So tonight